In May 2007, the doorbell went and uh, my wife went downstairs. Uh, she opened the front door and she had little Sabina, my daughter, who was only two years old. She had her in her arms. Um, thought it was a special delivery, you know, because he said special delivery on, we got a mic coming through. So we just took it for granted, there's a, a postman delivering a parcel. So my wife opened, we have two doors cause, to walk into the house. So they walked through both of the doors. Uh, then <clears throat> there obviously wasn't a postman, it was a robber. My wife was screaming and screaming. I ran downstairs. Uh, then when I got to the bottom of the stairs, I saw my wife with uh, a knife pointed at, pointed at my daughter. Uh, as soon as I saw that, there's another three uh, robbers jumped on my back, cable tied me up, uh, put a knife into my back, and didn't stab me, just threatening me. Uh, then when they cable tied, in, cable tied me up, they kept the knife underneath my chin to lift my head up very high. Um, when I was cable tied up, they moved back over to my daughter and threatening my daughter. Uh, kept threatening her and kill her all the time, you know, throughout. Um, just as you could hear loads of shouting going on and loads of, uh, you know, the robbers shouting one to the other. And I remember at the time one of them shouted, go and get the big one out of the fireplace. That would be the viaduct. Um, because I couldn't see too much, because, you know, it was obviously cab cable tied up. And the robbers just running in and out all the bottom half of the house. Um, we recovered uh, some of the paintings uh, during an initial house search, uh, and then following on from that, we'd uh, observe where those paintings had been brought from. Uh, and a subsequent search in the Bootle area recovered the remaining uh, paintings and all 14 uh, thankfully were recovered. So we never stopped looking for them, uh, we'd obviously put information out there to try and assist in getting information about their recovery uh, and following some information we were able to respond to that with a, a surveillance operation that identified the location uh, of the paintings that eventually led to their recovery. Well I was on holiday at the time and the police had been ringing my mobile Anyway, I'd left a mobile in the apartment. When I'd come back to get, picked my mobile back up, one of my friends had rang me. And um, he told me, the pictures all been recovered. And I thought it was just a joke at the time. Somebody was, you know, one of my friends winding me up. So I had to ring the police, and I rang the police, and it was true. They've recovered them all. Um, I started crying. So I still feel quite emotional now. One person's been convicted of the initial robbery and uh, is serving a substantial term of imprisonment. Um, the, the people involved in, uh, in this side of the investigation uh, have been uh, charged with handling the stolen paintings and trying to move them on. Um, clearly there are some people still outstanding from the initial robbery and uh, we would appeal if anybody has any information. This case is not closed for us. Uh, you can see by our determination uh, four years after the crime to recover these paintings that uh, we will continue to investigate any lines of inquiry about the original um, robbery uh, leading to the theft of the paintings or the subsequent movement from there. They were in quite poor condition, uh, they've taken uh, a substantial amount of restoration. Uh, Mr Ed, who's the uh, owner of the paintings, has restored some of them himself and uh, thankfully he's been able to get them uh, back to a state where some of them are now back in the Lowry Centre in Manchester.